Guys, I want to talk to you a minute about the iConnect and how to avoid some of the errant readings or what I do to avoid some of the errant readings when I have a system with a low charge or bad TXV. Anything that causes a low temperature split besides excessive airflow. Because when you have a low temperature split or enthalpy split, the iConnect will assume that you have an excessive airflow because you have such a low split. It's going to assume that there's a whole bunch of air moving through the system causing that split to lower. Now we all know that a low charge will have a low split as well because there's not enough refrigerant in the system. But what I do is this. I go over here, you now I go to measurements and I see airflow and nominal tonnage calculates estimated airflow capacity and dehumidification. So typically you have your estimated auto calculated airflow that the iConnect will calculate for you. But in those situations when I'm just starting the unit up before I add the charge, it gives you kind of a wacky reading that makes it look like you're at the same capacity or close to the same capacity that you should be. I had one that was 2.5 tons, you know, it'd come out 2 tons, 2.1 tons, even with 3.5 pounds deficient charge. So what I do is I go to other, and when I have a 2.5 ton machine, I just go 1,000 because it's 400 CFM per ton. I'll type in my 1,000. And do that, blah, blah, blah. And then I'll submit. And of course, if we were hooked up, you'd see it. That way, it'll think there's a 1,000 CFM. I'll go ahead and get a lot closer representation of what's going on. Now, that doesn't mean there is a 1,000 CFM. I just want it to give me a closer representation of what the BTU output is, the tonnage output. I was talking to a customer earlier. I could show him that it had 1.1 tons on this machine when I started it up, and it was a 2.5 ton. And by the time I was done, we were at 2.3 tons. So he was able to see the difference because I put those other numbers in there. And at the end, I could go ahead and use the auto-estimated information because it was right on target. But when I started out, I switched it over and used a, just a 400 CFM per ton block just to get a good idea of what's going on as far as the output then.